because it's lost two really good ones. Mm -hmm. uh, our best three backs are back right now. So as we stand here today, you know, it looks like a situation. I'm not saying we're you know, sitting back, but we feel pretty confident. I think we know what Makai can do in Torin. And, uh, you know, we, when Ivory's healthy, we think he's a pretty good football player. So it's going to be a tougher position to crack into than maybe, you know, a, a different position. It's a little tougher to play a tight end as a freshman, whereas a running back has a more realistic chance. But, uh, you know, we'll just play it and see how, you know, I mean, as you guys know, so many things can happen sure. in the next two months that, uh, you know, we need everybody just trying to push forward and get ready. And if a freshman, a freshman can come in and get ready and, you know, if he's ready and we don't need him, that's great. We'll redshirt him, but otherwise uh, we'll play him if, if that's the case. I mean, Torn's on your leadership group as a junior, and he's here. What has he been doing during the offseason to kind of earn this stuff? You, you know, he has just been, um, to me, a stellar guy since he joined our program. And I think I've said it to you guys publicly before that I think sometimes we're, we underappreciate him. I know going back through the cutups this year, it's an observation I had. I think sometimes, uh, you know, we devalue, uh, you know, because he's not a 4-3 sure. guy or 4-4 four, four guy and he's not this or that. But he's improved. He's improved this spring. Uh, and he was awfully productive last year. And he, he brings us, I think, a certain level of energy and toughness on the field that makes us a better football team as well. So um, I think he's kind of an un, unsung hero, if you will. And I could have made an argument. It was, it was so hard picking three guys, excuse me. Uh, this year, we could have brought you know nine guys, I think, and Makai could have made an easier argument that way too. He's done a great job and you know just continues to improve and gain confidence as well. So it was kind of a coin toss on that one, but uh, Torin Torin's been with us from the start, and just uh, done a really good job, and I've been really confident he'll continue to play well for us and continue to improve. I know there was some surprise that AJ didn't wasn't here. Can it was what went behind that? And, it's nothing personal. Either. Sure. One thing I, I, I'm amused by, you know, AJ hasn't started a game, I don't think, has he, for no. us yet? Mm. And uh, he's like the fifth best player in the country and all that stuff. But uh, uh, what, what a great kid he is and what a great guy he is to have on a football team. High energy, just wants so badly to do well. And I think the most important thing I'd say about AJ, he's, he's an unbelievable teammate. Like, he really cares about the guys he's with, not only in the defensive line room, uh, the defense, but the entire team. He's just a really good teammate, unbelievable human being. And... Uh, I'm really confident he's going to play really good football this year. Obviously, he'll get more opportunities now and uh, yeah, because we're not as deep at that position, whereas a year ago we were. But, you know, time is here for him to, to go play, and he'll play really well and hopefully stand here with us next year. Your leadership 